This is Eric L. Dunn the Mindset Disruption Strategist. Let's talk about investing. More specifically, let's talk about thriving in a bear market. So, you know my passion as the Mindset Disruption Strategist is to help families and businesses achieve a higher ROI return on intention. And as we turn our focus to investing, we've had another video where I've talked about surviving a bear market. But today I really wanna get into how can you thrive in the middle of a bear market? But before I do that, don't forget to like this video. And if you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe so that you're getting um, all of our content that keeps coming out and make sure you hit the notification bell so that as that content is updated, you know exactly when I'm dropping brand new videos so that you can increase your own ROI, return on intention. So as I mentioned, we've talked about this idea of how do we survive a bear market? And I'm gonna hit that really, really quick. I'd encourage you to watch the whole video. But when we look at bear markets, there's a few things that we know. One is that when they begin to fall, it's usually about 40 months before you get all the way back up to peak. And so the way that we said that you survive a bear market is that you start out by figuring out how much cash you need for each year to live on over the next five years. 40 months is a little bit over three years. I've extended it out to five to make sure you've got enough cash on hand over the next five years. And so what you do is you keep one year of what you need on hand, and then the next year two, year three, year four, and year five, you can invest in maybe some different strategies that allow you to get quick access to your cash so that you're not worrying about what happens to the overall market over next five years, because you know exactly where you're getting all the money that you need to pull out of the portfolio in that time period. Again, I go deeper into that into another video, but I thought we ought to just visit this really, really quick because it's gonna be relevant. That's how you survive. How could you actually thrive in the middle of a bear market? Well, here's what we do. And here's what I would suggest. When the market drops 20%, that's the definition of a bear market. And now it's time to start thinking strategically. So. At the point that you hit 20%, what I would recommend considering is selling the money that you've got in year five. Remember, we've got cash for one year, we've got year two, year three, year four, and year five. If the goal of investing is to buy low and sell high, as the market is down 20% or more, now you've got an opportunity to be buying lower, and this is actually where you can thrive. So here's the idea that I would have you consider. First, so you sell that five-year bond and take 25% of the proceeds and go ahead and invest it in the things that you've been investing in. Invest 25% of it right there at the 20% drop. Then just keep watching the markets and watching what's happening. If the market continues to drop, I know it doesn't sound fun, but again, buy low, sell high. If you believe in the companies that you own, especially over a five to 10 year period, which is the only reason you should be owning good companies anyway, is you've got a five to 10 year perspective. At a 25% drop, invest another 25% of the proceeds. So you're now at this point, you have 50% of that fifth year bond is invested. Well, what if the market keeps dropping? Well, if it goes down 30, invest another 25% of the proceeds. And then this kind of has a plan for the market dropping as much as 35%. Then at that point, if you had a 35% drop, you'd invest another 25% of the proceeds. You've now fully invested that fifth year bond as the market's been declining. But again, you're buying lower and lower and lower. Why is that? Because every market to this point has always recovered. I mean, I, I guess there's a scenario in which it wouldn't, um, but we haven't seen it yet. So. My expectation is that they will. And so based on that, by continuing to buy lower, we've been putting ourselves in a position to now thrive when the recovery begins. So look, we bought when things were down 35%. When the market recovers to only being down 20%, you bought when it was down 35. Now the market has recovered to 20. That's a difference of 15% back up, right? You sell the 25%. So you've made money 
on this 35% bond that went down and this recovery back to 25. And now you start putting cash back into the portfolio. Now you're thriving because you bought low and you're selling a little bit higher, right? When you when the recovery is down to 15%, you sell another 25%. When the recovery is only down 10%, which is now you're in correction territory, you sell another 25%. And then when the market has fully recovered, maybe that takes three years or whatever, who knows? But when the market is fully recovered, you sell another 25%. From that first 25% that you invested, the market is now up 20%, right? Or more from where it was and you're selling. You have now positioned yourself using this strategy. You survived the bear market. And now, because you were actively buying while things were lower, now you're selling as things are increasing and you're thriving through a bear market. And doesn't that sound better than just sitting around? It doesn't that sound better than some of these ideas oh, I just buy and hold on, it's gonna get better. Look, more than likely it is gonna get better, but how can you position yourself to thrive? And I believe that this idea here is one that could really help you on your journey to making an impact and building generational prosperity as you keep reimagining, how can I add more return on intention to my life. God bless you. Have a fantastic day.